And now 9,000 really has gone. It certainly is. Since you had your nine grand offer, you had seven reds in a row. That is appalling bad luck. For the second day running, we've had a player with appalling bad luck. Nick, I'm so sorry for you. It's all right. There'll be another opportunity. Like I said, if I was meant to win a day, I would have won. I could still win three thousand pounds. That's exactly. a lot of money to me. Exactly. And I could still win a penny. And I'll be the first person to do it. What can I say? Yeah, I just wouldn't want to be present when you take one p home to Stacey. <laughs> hello, hello. Yes, for the second day running. You're spoiling my afternoon. Yes, it is, uh, it is the banker's year, as you say, yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, dear me, dear me, dear me. Wow! 300 quid. Nice. I'm ready. Ready when you are. You don't want to ask anybody? No. 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 It's all or nothing now. Yeah. It is all or nothing. Yep. £300, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Right. You are due a change of luck. You have four blues that you can take out and you only have to open three boxes. Dave, number six. Would you please open box six? Low and blue, please. Last eight I've had have been red. This has got to be blue. 3,000. <laughs> incredible. I can't believe it. Absolutely incredible. You keep smiling. I need to. If I don't smile, I cry, I think. Uh, number 21, Marie. Marie, what we do not want to see is the last chance for him to win something that begins with a pound sign because it's sitting there. Would you open box 21, please, Marie? I hope it's a penny. <laughs> 50B. <laughs> but at least you're not going away with 50P. I'll go for lucky seven. Lucky seven? Yep. On an afternoon which has had zero good fortune for Nick. I really, really hope it's a penny. I really do. <laughs> good luck, Nick. Ten P! Dear, dear, dear. Hello. Oh, stop it! <laughs> I can hear him laugh. <laughs> I hope you have given yourself a hernia. Thank you very much. 40 quid? 30. Oh. I see how I took it on 40. <laughs> <laughs> That's a spirit. Oh, Nick, 30 quid. Well, I could be the first person in history to do what I do, go home with a penny, so... I'm going to play on, ain't I, really? I've got to play on. I've got to get something out of it, at least if it's the title. You'll use my name on a lot of other shows, wouldn't you? I think your attitude is something we're going to be talking about for a long time. <laughs> the spirit that you showed has been fantastic. I've moved into new territory myself. I've never had to say this to anybody before. Uh, Nick, at £30, <laughs> <laughs> deal or no deal? No deal. Oh. <laughs> this is sadistic, actually, at this point. This is really... The poker winner, really gloating, <laughs> mega time. I know exactly what's coming here. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs>
Okay, thank you. Uh, lovely. You know what's happening. Yep. You may swap box five, which may contain one P or a hundred pounds, for box three, Jerry's box. I'm actually going to swap. I know I said I'd never swap my box, but I'm going to swap it for number three. Yeah? Would you like me to yeah. do the hard work? Yeah, I'll, I'll go and get it. You can... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll sort of... We'll choreograph it. <laughs> <laughs> you go at three. <laughs> Okay, mate, it's all yours. Cheers. It's my son's age, so I've got to pick it, you know. <laughs> okay. So, <sighs> this is horrible. I can't believe two days running that we've been in this situation where we've swapped the boxes. We have. And as Irene proved, swapping was her final downfall. <laughs> and I'm wondering if you've done exactly the same thing. Can I come on this side, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Well, what is it going to be? Is the man from Clacton about to become <laughs> the first deal or no deal 1P player? Oh. Yes! <laughs> he has the honour! Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry, Mr. Right. I don't know that. Penny's a penny. Well, now, at least you've done it in style. You could have won the hundred pounds, having turned oh, down nine thousand. But you very kindly gave it to Jerry over there. If you'd like to open it up, Jerry, just to prove it did go that way. And three's my favourite number, so he should have left it over here. Sorry. Right. There's the hundred pounds. You have brought a style to losing that is very British, <laughs> is very infectious, and I seriously think it's going to lead to very positive things. Do you mind if I get my phone out so I can phone the number that I can win on one of them boxes? <laughs> <over>? <laughs> Well, uh, for the second show running, uh, one of you is destined to win a lot more than our player. Yes, we've achieved the first 1p win, and uh, what do you make of that? I think it's really sad. It is sad. I've got a, I've got a cold, so you've got, you'll come across. You've got a cold, yes. right, OK. <laughs> What's your name? Chris. Chris, could you just say one, two or three? Three. Thank you, Chris. God, I hope you haven't given it to me. Will you please have a box three? Five thousand pounds! Do you open up the other boxes, please? That needs salt in the wound for Nick. There's the others. So, congratulations to you. You got the highest amount of money. And commiserations to you. You got the lowest amount ever. Nick, thanks so no much problem. for playing along. <laughs> playing along with a, a resignation to his fate. So disappointing. Been here for weeks. And he was really obviously hoping to win a lot more money. We are destined soon to have a big win. Yesterday, five pounds. Today, our first ever 1P winner. Had to happen at some stage. Indeed, the quarter of a million has to happen at some point. It could be tomorrow. I think you'll be back. I hope you will. Bye-bye. Well, hopefully better luck ahead for Angela and Kevin house hunting in Cornwall and the Ardèche for their place in the sun. Channel 4 next.